you know, yeah, what are your thoughts on the importance of releasing trauma and how past life, you know, even you could say future life, once again, the linear time is a, is a physical dimension thing. And so it appear, appears linearly as a past or a future life, but really it's a parallel life. Um, ultimately, I, I think, you, like I said, you'd agree with. So what are your thoughts on how people can get the, take out the garbage, so to speak, clear the trauma and, and uh, how, you know, other lifetimes play into that? So I think it's really important, as exactly as you said, like there's no past, present, parallel. We just use the word past for convenience's sake. So the way I understand how it works is you first kind of like work on clearing what happened in this present lifetime in the now. And then from there you go into you kind of like past lifetimes as a human on Earth. And then you do your past lifetime as a non-human on Earth. And then you go into your galactic lifetimes if you've had them, because there's, you know, there can be traumas and experiences um, that come from from there as well. Um, I think I, I always try to teach um, being present in the moment, being present in the now and working with um, compassionate non-attachment, which is non-reaction, which is a way of reprogramming yourself um, away from the trauma. Because, you know, when you have a reaction to something, it comes from something inside you and everything that is around you is a projection of what's going on within you as well. So if you're surrounded with people that aren't really like the best for you, then, you know, that's really not a good space to be so it goes down to reprogramming yourself and you don't even necessarily always have to know what the trauma is like it obviously helps like a lot of um star seeds have been um hung before their throats have been cut they've been silenced in previous lifetimes so obviously now they need to work on speaking up speaking their truth being present being embodied being anchored so in that case it can help um, but sometimes you don't even really have to know as long as you start start working um, through the heart center and working on the connection between the heart and the throat. So having your thoughts, actions, emotions, and words all in alignment. You say something, you do it, right? You're speaking your truth. You're standing in your truth and you're standing from the heart, from the compassion, from the heart center. Then everything else is going to kind of align and you will get the challenges and the experience and they will come to you, but you will know how to face them, how to respond to them. And you do it once, twice, a third time, the fourth time you're reprogrammed, you're not going to answer that anymore. So you're aligning with a timeline where you don't have that trauma anymore. That's yeah. kind of like where you want to get. So this is why the astral space is so powerful because you can heal traumas instantly. So when it happens that you dream of, I don't know, that friend from high school, that old relationship, that fight with your parent, um, you're actually clearing it in the astral space. But because there's no limitation of time, you can clear it instantly. Instantly. Meanwhile, it would be a mission for you to like, um, you know, go to your friend from high school and speak to them in the third dimensional density mm -hmm. in reality um, so that in your astral space, it can be done very, very quickly. So, yeah, I would say the most important thing to um, work in clearing trauma is, I mean, go to people who help you in past life, like do go and ask for help, like it's a good thing, but you can really just um, help help yourself by being present in the moment, by speaking your truth and working on that connection between the heart and the throat chakra. Mm. 